Next, I'm going to discuss about the try and method of this program. So if you debug the code, control comes to main function here after that coincides. So actually, I have taken five integer variable. First is n. Next, uh, bin. And next variable, deck. So I have deck initialized to zero. Next variable, pom. And it initialized to one. Here after next variable, trim. Now here after control comes to printf function. So what are we double quote? That display into the output scale. Enter binary number zero and one. And whatever I'm going to enter, so that to see by n. So n go. Uh, I'm going to enter n value. One, zero, zero, one. Here after n value go to bin. So bin become 1, 0, 0, 1. Here after all control comes to while loop. There that check the condition while n greater than 0. So 1, 0, 0, 1, greater than 0, condition is true. So that coincides right here. Rim equal to n mod 10. So n value is now 1, 0, 0. 1 mod 1 0 0 1 mod 10. So add your remainder come 1. So ring become add your 1. Now here after control comes to this point, take equal to deck plus remain to power. So deck value is now 0, 0 plus deck value or uh, ring value is 1. And power value 1. So 1 into 1, the value come 1. 1 plus 0, the value come 1. So add here, take become 1. Now here after n equal to n by 10. So if you divide 1, 0, 0, 1. So it divide by 100 times. So I have n become 100. And here after power equal to 0 into 2. So power value is 1, 1 into 2, power become 2. Now here after that go up and check the condition n greater than 0. So 100 greater than 0, condition is true. So that coincide. Rim equal to n more 10. So n value is now 100. 100 more 10, so remainder come 0. So rim become 0. Now here after deck equal to deck plus rim into power. So deck value is now 1 plus rim into power. Rim value is so 0 and uh, power value 2, 0 into 2. So 0 into 2, the value come 0, 0 plus 1, the value come 1. So here, here deck become 1. Now n equal to n by 10. So add here 100 by 10. So it divide by 10 times. So n become 10. Now power equal to 0.2. Into 2. So power value is 2, 2 into 2, power become 4. Now here after that go, uh, check the condition 10 greater than 0, condition is true. So that coincide rim equal to n more 10. So n value is 10, 10 more 10, remainder come 0. So rim become 0 again. And here after, deck equal to deck plus rim into power. So deck value is 1 and uh, deck value is 1 and rim value is 0 and power value 4. So the value come 1. 0 into 4, 0, 0 plus 1, 0, 1. So enter deck become 1. Now here after n equal to n by 10, so n value is so 10, 10 by 10, so it divide by 1 times. So I have pi equal to pi into 2, so 4 into 2, power become 8. Now here after that go, check the condition, 1 greater than 0, condition is 2, so I have rim equal to n more 10, so 1 more 10, the value come 1, so rim become 1. Here after deck equal to deck plus rim into power, so deck value is 1. 
and here after rim value is so a1 and uh, power value 8 so total become 1 into 8 8 8 plus 1 9 so deck become 9 now here after n equal to n by 10 so 1 by 10 n become 0 and power equal to 0 into 2 so 8 into 2 power become 16 here after that curve check the condition 0 greater than 0 condition is not true so that not coincide here after control comes to printer function so actually whatever I double code that display into the output screen the binary number is equal to percent d because bin is integer time so the output comes the binary number is or uh, bin value so bin value is so 100 1 and here after control comes to this point the decimal number is deck value so deck value is 9 so the output comes the decimal number is 9 so as then the output comes into or 9 into new line and here after that out from min function so if you enter the value 1001 the output comes 9 or you can enter any other number like 1 0 0 and do the try and win method like this way you will get the output 8 so this is the try and method of this program Next, I am going to discuss about the try and method of this program. So, if you divide the code, control comes to main function. Here, after that, to inside, so I have to again integer variable n. And here, after printer function, so whatever I double code that is going to the output screen. Enter the number 0 and 1. And whatever I am going to enter, so that is 0 by n. So, I am going to enter n value 1, 0, 0, 1. And here, after control comes to 1. Function so n receive at 1 0 0 1. Now, hereafter that called fun function. So, hereafter control comes to 
there. So I enter int n. So this value, n value receive 1001. Now here after control comes to inside here. I have taken all three integer variable. First is range. Next sum. So sum initialized to 0 and i value. So it also initialized to 0. So I to check the condition while n greater than 0. So 1, 0, 0, 1 greater than 0 condition is true. So that coincides. So I to ring equal to n more 10. So n value is now 1, 0, 0, 1. So I to lost digit is 1. So remainder come 1. So 1, 0, 0, 1 more 10. The value come or remainder come 1. So the value come 1. So 1 go to rim. So rim is now 1. Here after n equal to n by 10. So you divide by 100 times. So n become 100. Now here after sum equal to sum plus rim into form 2i. So sum value is now 0. And rim value is now 1 into form 2. So 2 i value is now 0. So add here 0 plus 1. So if any number with power 0, the value comes 1. So total 1 into 1, 1. And 0 plus 1, the value comes 1. So add here sum becomes 1. Now i increase. So i is now 0 to 1. So here after that go and check the condition n greater than 0. So 100 greater than 0 condition is true. So that coincides. So I have to rim equal to n more 10. So 100 more 10. So I divide by 10 time. And remainder come 0. So I have to rim become 0. And n equal to n by 10. So I divide by 10 time. So n become 10. Here after sum equal to sum plus uh, rim into form 2i. So sum value is 1 and here rim value is now 0 and power function so 2 power i value 1 so this value if you multiply any number with 0 so the value comes 0 and 1 plus 0 the value comes 1 so sum become 1 now i increase so i is 2 now or check the condition n greater than 0 so 10 greater than 0 condition is true so that coincide rim equal to n more 10 so n value is now or 10 10 more 10 so add here it divide by 1 times remainder come 0 so rim become 0 again now here after n equal to n by 10 so 10 by 10 so it divide by 1 times so n become 1 here after sum equal to sum plus rim into point to 2 into i so sum value is now 1 and rim value is now 0 into power 2i so 2 i value is now power 2 so 2 power 2 the value come 4 4 into 0 0 0 plus 1 the value come 1 so sum become 1 again here after i increase so i is 3 now so here after that go check the condition n greater than 0 so 1 greater than 0 condition is 2 so rim equal to n more 10 so 1 more 10 the value come 1 so rim become 1 here after n equal to n by 10. So 1 by 10 the value comes 0. Here after sum equal to sum plus rim into form. So sum value is now 1 plus rim value is now 1 into or form. So form function used. So 2 i value is now 3. So add here 1 plus 1 into 2 into 2 into 2. So this value come 8. 8 into 1, 8. 8 plus 1, total value come 9. So sum become 9. Here after i increase, so i is 4 now. Here that go check the condition in greater than 0. So 0 greater than 0 condition is not true. So that not go inside. Here after control comes to this point. So at here I use printer function. So whatever in double code that is print to hardware screen. Percent D because so sum is integer time. So the output output come decimal number or column sum. So sum value is now 9. So the output come decimal number 9. 
and here after that go to or that go and back to this position so this display decimal number so nine here after that uh, comes to this point and here after that outflow main function so this is the drawing method of this program so i hope guys you understand so thanks for watching see you next video